Inside line on the inside, Christopher Bell, who won this race one year ago. Fans on their feet and racing in Kentucky. Christopher Bell throwing it into one and two, and he'll come out with the lead on the other side. Christopher Bell got the launch. He won it on the front straightaway. Got to the bottom of the racetrack. It's going to be the leader at the line. I was a little surprised the 22 took the top. Why I do think the top is better down here in three and four, as you see him clear the nine car heading down the front straightaway. One and two, it seems like they've been going to the bottom of the racetrack. Jeff, that slide for life, I call it. Look at that two car, that green car at the bottom. My goodness. I'm not sure who was luckier, the two for not wrecking or the 19 for not getting collected. I think that's what forced the 19 up the racetrack and eventually into the outside wall, kind of at the top of your screen. I think he was thinking the same thing you were. The two wasn't done yeah. wrecking, and he was trying to get as far away from him as he possibly could. Four. Oh, boy. And into the wall in four, we see the nine. 99, a lot of damage. 78, come up underneath of you. That's Avila. And the right front of that car destroyed. That one unfortunately has hit every. Don't stop there. You can take that one all the way back. Field. Wow. Hard hit already for J.A. Avila. And that brings the caution out. 40 laps still to go in stage one. But a quick in for the 99. So it was Bell, then Cindric, Allgaier, Reddick, Brandon Jones, the top five. What a run to end stage one. Christopher Bell now nine stage wins already this year. Four race wins. Looking for number five tonight. The 22, Haley in the 11. Oh, and oh. up the racetrack, contact made. Cindric sideways coming out of turn four. He'll tag the back into that car into the wall but that brings the caution out again the 11 of Haley he got in the wall as well on the exit of turn four I just was talking about the patience he was showing you jinxed him is that what you're going to say yes I'm sorry Actually, but I don't think this was a lack of patience no the 11 backing up on two tires you have to pass him at some point you have to pass him he turns underneath the 11 that tire drop. I mean, he's talked all weekend pretty good how difficult turns three and four are. One of the toughest corners in NASCAR. This is what we're going to see. It's turn three. He's not the first one to lose it on entry into turn three. He's in a bad position. The 11's got all the air off the side of his car. Drives down, and there he's loose already. Now he's just got to chase it up the racetrack. You know, he just overdrove the entry just a little bit. So easy to do. But then Haley, I'm not sure how much damage he got. He got lucky that Cindric saved it a couple times, or it would have been an instant spin for the 11 2. Oh, Speaking and that's of Ronnie struggles. Bassett around, yep. Ronnie Bassett Jr. goes around in the 90. That's the fourth caution that has come out. Here's got pick up the, the pace car's got to pick up the leader right here. Just try to get going as best you can here. Ronnie Bassett Jr. was running in the 23rd position when he spun. And oh. left rear definitely down on the 90. Yeah, looks like he's on the apron trying to get back to pit yeah. road. Dangerous though. I always get scared when I see a car spin back up on the racetrack like that. Very fortunate nobody was coming. Mile and a half. He said he thought Custer and he also thought Reddick had a better mile and a half program. They needed to go to work. Well, they've gone to work so far tonight. Stage one winner and now stage two winner. Christopher Bell gets the green and white checkered flag. Cole Custer, his two previous best finishes at this racetrack are both fifth. But the amazing thing about Cole Custer is over the last six races, including this one, it will be three wins, 50% of the races. The last six races, Cole Custer will be going to victory lane. Coming into this season, he only had two career wins, and this is career win number seven. Five wins on the season for Cole Custer. He wins here in Kentucky. Almost businesslike on the radio there. 
Great job, everyone. Cole, do your burnout. Stop on start finish line. Do your interview. You've won 22 of these things as a crew chief. You're you're a pretty cool customer. Great hire by this team, bringing Mike Shiflett in when you know he was at Ganassi and right. all that fell apart with sponsorship issues and opened the door for him to come here and. What a pairing with he and Cole Custer. Steve, you put it best. When we see something like this, a lot of times people will go, oh my gosh, you know, he killed everyone. This needs to be celebrated. This was an incredible performance. We mentioned the top three, the big three right now in the Xfinity Series. They are not easy competition to win races against. Christopher Bell already has four wins this season. Tyler Reddick has three wins this season. Well, now Cole Custer has five wins, and he he really dominated the final stage of this race. Cole Custer ended up leading 88 laps of this race here in Kentucky after it looked like Christopher Bell was going to dominate. The introvert Cole Custer climbs out of the car. And he becomes an extrovert after winning the race.